Hello and welcome to day one of our new series, 100 Words to Impress. I'm going to teach you a hundred new words that are advanced English, which will impress people if you use them. These 100 words have been taken from the new academic word list, which was a study conducted by some researchers looking at over 200 million words used in academic texts. And from that, they discovered over 900 that were used extremely frequently in academic texts, but are not common to general um, lower levels of English. So these are really useful words to know because they will make your writing seem more professional, more formal, and it will just make you appear to have a better grasp of the English language. So these will be very useful words for you to study, learn and get into your own vocabulary. Now, I will be producing a longer course that looks at most of these words in more detail. But for now, I've produced a shorter course that takes 100 of the most useful words from this list. So do join with me and make it your goal to learn these 100 words and get them into your English usage. Uh, one is accelerate. This is a verb and the stress is on the sound cell. Accelerate. And this means to go faster. Here are two examples. The car accelerated on the road. Sales accelerated after the promotion. Word two is assembly. This is a noun and the stress is on sem. Assembly. Assembly means things put together or people gathered. So, for example, there was an assembly of parts in the machine. At the assembly, the news was given to the children attending. Word three is conference. This is a noun. The stress is on con. Conference. And this means a gathering of people for meetings to exchange information. An example sentence could be, we learnt about new ideas for our product design at the conference. So lots and lots of people got together and they spoke about a, a particular topic or a business theme and this happened at the, this was called a conference, the place where people gathered. Word four is economically. It's an adverb. So it describes a noun or a sentence. The stress is on no. Economically. Economically. And this means without using too much money or too much force. So, for example, they drove economically. They used petrol, less petrol, than the journey usually needed. Word five is horizon. And this is a noun. The stress is on ry. Horizon. And the horizon is where the earth and the sky meet in the distance. Or it's an idea of something that's just coming into view. Let's look at the two examples. The sun dipped below the horizon at 9pm. So that's in the evening. You look into the distance. Perhaps you're looking over the sea and the sun goes down and it's out of view. That means it's gone below the horizon. Or the other example, it has been a cold winter, but warmer weather is on the horizon. 
That means the warmer weather. We can't quite see it yet, but it's just about to happen. It's on the horizon. Word six is lump. This is a noun, and it's a hard raised area or object. For example, there is a lump in my throat. There's something hard, slightly raised in my throat. Seven is non-linear. This is an adjective, and we actually stress the first two sounds. It's an unusual word. Non-linear. Non-linear. This means not in a straight line or not in the usual way. So, for example, our research plan takes a non-linear approach. Eight is prediction. This is a noun, and the stress is on dick. Prediction. Prediction is saying what will happen in the future. Their prediction is for the price of oil to rise until the end of the year. Word nine is semester. It's a noun. The stress is on mess. Semester. And this is one of two periods of the academic year. So different countries have different ways of organising the academic year,、um, and some countries, such as America, have two semesters:、uh, one at the end of the year, and then the next at the start of the following year. So a semester is one period; two semesters covers the whole academic year. So we will study grammar in the first semester. Could be an example. And number ten, terminal. Here, the stress is on the first sound, ter, terminal. This can be an adjective or a noun. If it's an adjective, it means the end of something. So, for example, the animal had a terminal disease. Or, as a noun, it can be an area in an airport. Go to Terminal Three for the plane you need. So a terminal is an area in the airport where people will arrive or leave、um, to get their plane or come off the plane. So those are words one to ten.